Look, people! This is Fisher12, and we have another exciting episode of the Black Ops show for you guys today, as always. And today marks the end of the PS4 beta, unfortunately, but Wednesday we get the beta for Xbox One. Now, one new game mode that Chara gave us during the PS4 beta was Safeguard. It's a crazy, hectic, yet fun game mode that can often last up to 20 minutes, but it'll be a new mode to Xbox users, so today's video is going to be covering some tips and tricks to help you guys win every single game of Safeguard. I thought the hardest part of this game mode was trying to decide how much time to spend escorting the robot or how much time I should spend trying to attack the robot, and then how much time should I spend just trying to get kills and push the other team back. I found that the best tactic on defense is to rush the next choke point that the robot is going to come to and then post up there. And then the best tactic on offense is to flank that next choke point that's coming and hopefully surprise the enemies. The robot has a fixed path that it travels on, so it's kind of cheap, but if you know the path that the robot is going to travel, you can predict where enemies will be and where enemies are going to come from. And since the objective of this game mode is to collectively walk the drone to the end zone, there is no better way to ensure victory than partying up, obviously. Together, you guys are going to be able to dictate who is escorting the robot, who is clearing a path, and who is watching the flank, etc. My next tip is to use flak jacket. It's almost the equivalent of demolition when you're on the bomb and you're being bombarded with nades. When you're escorting the robot, it's a very similar story. So flak jacket is going to quickly become your best friend. And then on the flip side, making sure you're stocking up on nades to use on the noobs not using flak jacket is equally as important too. The EMP grenades take out a sizable chunk of the robot's health. One tip I learned the hard way was to not waste my ammo on the robot if meleeing is an option. All the time you're going to find yourself in situations where the robot doesn't have anyone around him and it's very tempting to just unload your ammo into the robot trying to get it to reboot but you'll quickly waste your ammo and won't be able to kill the players coming off the respawn. Since the robot won't move when no one is escorting him, there's no reason to use your ammo, just melee him. My next tip is for score streaks. I found the Dart, Guardian, and Hellstorm to be some of the most useful score streaks in this game mode, at least in terms of the lower score streaks. The Dart and Hellstorm serve as a way to take out the robot easily without having to force yourself into battle, and the Guardian stops any escorts dead in their tracks and cripples them for at least a couple of minutes, especially on maps like Hunted where the robot has to walk down a straight, narrow pathway sometimes, setting up a guardian at the end of that path is going to do a devastating blow to the entire team. And then, on a similar track, offensive specialist abilities with range are great for taking down the robot. So, Sparrow, Tempest, Annihilator, Scythe, all good choices. I'm pretty sure it's like a two-charge shot from the Sparrow to take it out completely. And my last tip is a combination that I found on Reddit. Care Package and Engineer. This game mode is hectic, and you do die a lot, and the care package is something you can get pretty frequently, and the engineer perk is going to allow you to re-roll your care package into something better, because usually the team calling in the bigger kill streaks is going to be the winner. But those are my tips for winning in Safeguard. If you follow them, you're going to win in Safeguard almost every single time. Now, if you've already played Safeguard, if you're a PS4 user and you've already played the beta, please leave your tips down in the comments below for our Xbox and PC friends. But that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's episode, so make sure to leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more Black Ops 3 content. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.